Meet the new Range Rover Evoque. We've assessed every stage of its life cycle, from design and manufacturing right through to dismantling after 200,000 kilometres on the road. Measuring the total environmental impact to help Land Rover become more efficient and reduce emissions. First, we looked at the manufacturing phase. The Range Rover Evoque is built using state-of-the-art lightweight materials, including aluminium and polymers. Many of these are recycled, like the 16 kilos of polymers that go into every vehicle. Overall, 90% of engineering on the Range Rover Evoque is brand new, creating a vehicle that's smaller than any in the lineup, but still every inch a Range Rover. And when we use energy, we also give something back. For every tonne of CO2 produced during manufacturing, we invest in carbon reduction projects to reduce a tonne of CO2 elsewhere, as we aim to meet our ambitious targets for more sustainable manufacturing. Next, we studied the Range Rover Evoque on the road. The state-of-the-art engines are designed to be the most fuel-efficient we've used in a Range Rover to date. Meanwhile, the intelligent power system management optimizes efficiency through smart regenerative charging. These are all part of our e-terrain technologies program with fuel saving features like the stop start technology plus clever touches including park assist. And as well as making this the most efficient and economical Range Rover yet, we also offset the first 45,000 miles of CO2 emissions but we still deliver all the legendary luxury and capability that drivers expect from a Range Rover. Finally, we thought about what happens when the Range Rover Evoque comes to the end of its life. 85% of the materials used in each vehicle can be recycled, including metal, glass, polymers and fluids such as fuel, which means a lot less needs to go to landfill. Our life cycle assessment will be applied to every new Land Rover as we develop new models and new technology for a more sustainable future. Find out more at landrover.com slash rplanet.